Hi, Hi, Monkey. Are you ready for an amazing adventure? Yes, I am. I have my adventure book and I can't wait to add a new stamp. Today, Monkey, we're off to visit Wales. Wales? Yeah. I've never been to Wales before. Well, Monkey, you're in for a treat. You're going to explore all things Welsh, including the Welsh language, and you'll even visit a Welsh castle too. Wow! Wales sounds brilliant. Ready? Steady. Go! Top nonners! Boing, 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 boing. Welcome to Wales, Monkey. What can you see? Oh, is that a red dinosaur on that flag? No, Monkey, it's a red dragon. That is the flag of Wales. Yes, I can see its curly tail now. <laughs> it is a dragon. Oh, I like the look of that. It's called the Eirdre Goch. It's the symbol of Wales. Well, St David is the patron saint of Wales. Is he? And legend has it that St David asked his army to wear a leek in their caps when they went to battle against the Saxons so they could recognise each other. They wore a leek in their hat. <laughs> oh, it's a vegetable. Yeah, so now the leek is a national symbol of Wales. That's brilliant. Take a look at Wales's incredible coastline, Monkey. From there, you can spot all kinds of wildlife. So there could be whales in Wales. That's right. <laughs> but you're more likely to see bottlenose dolphins and grey seals. But Wales is also known for its deep valleys and high mountains, like Mount Snowdon. Oh, it's very green and hilly. The capital city of Wales is Cardiff. It's said that Welsh people love to play and watch rugby. So in the heart of Cardiff, they built the Principality Stadium so they can watch rugby players from all over the world compete. This stadium is so clever, it has a roof that opens and closes, so it doesn't matter if it rains. Everyone can watch rugby without getting wet. That is top nanas. What a great stadium. <laughs> Ooh, there are lots of different types of buildings here, old and new, and uh, I think I see a castle. Yes, let's take a look. Welcome, Monkey, to Care Philly. Why don't you find Kate and she'll tell you more about the castle. Oh, hello. You must be Kate. Hello, Monkey. Shamai. Shamai? What does that mean? I just said hello in Welsh. Oh, Shamai. Oh, I like that. So, Wales has its own language? Yes, we do, Monkey. It's a very ancient Celtic language. And what's Welsh for castle? It's Castech. And this is Castech Caerphilly. Oh, it's amazing. I have to tell you this, Kate. I think some of it's falling down. Oh, you're talking about our famous Leaning Tower monkey. It's looked like that for hundreds of years. It's not going to fall down today. Really? Oh, I'm glad about that. <laughs> um, so who built this castle? Well, this castle was built by a lord monkey. His name was Gilbert, Gilbert de Clare. Although some people called him Red Gilbert because he had very red hair. Oh, Red Gilbert. <laughs> well, did Red Gilbert mean to build his castle in the middle of a lake? <laughs> oh, that's not a lake, monkey. That's the moat. The moat? Yes, the moat of the castle keeps the enemies away from the walls. Oh, I see. Because they'd have to swim across the moat. That's right. They do it. And once they'd swum across the moat, they'd have to climb up the very steep walls. Wow. I think that's a bit much, even for a monkey like me. <laughs> oh, Wales is a very lovely country. It's got so much history. And did you know, monkey, we've got over 500 castles here in Wales, but this is one of the biggest. I didn't know that. That is amazing. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> hey, let's see what Welsh creation the milkshakers are making today. Today, the milkshakers are going to make their very own daffodils. The daffodil is the national flower of Wales. Do you guys want to make your own flowers, your own daffodils? First, Mr Baker gets a paper plate and cuts it into the shape of the petals. Oh, wow, it looks like a star! <laughs> the milkshakers then use a paper cup for the corona. Now, that's the bit of the daffodil that looks like a trumpet. 
They're using a loop of sticky tape to attach the cup to the petals. Ah, oh, now for the fun bit. They get to paint their daffodils. They're using yellow because daffodils are yellow. Oh, there's a lot of paint on that brush. <laughs> oh, it looks like the milkshakers are having a lot of fun with this. Now they're painting the outside of the trumpet. Oh, and the inside as well. And the flowers are done. To finish, Mr Baker comes round with some green lollipop sticks to be used as a stalk. Together, they tape them to the back using sticky tape. And they're complete! Well done, milkshakers. Those daffodils look great. Adventures! Oh. <laughs> did you enjoy finding out about whales? Yes, I did. I especially liked finding out about leeks. Brilliant, Monkey. Can you remember what we've learnt today? Oh, yes. Cardiff is the capital city of Wales. Very good. Wales has its own language. The Welsh for hello is shamai. Well done, you. And one more thing. Um, what did the milkshakers show you? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, along with the leek, uh, the daffodil is the national symbol of Wales. Great work, monkey. Why don't we give Wales an amazing adventure stamp? Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Though that's um, one castle in Wales done, that means there are um, 499 left to visit. Maybe we can see one more on the way home. Say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Hey, what will we see?